What's up everybody? It's your boy Meme here. Vacation is over and the work starts, okay? Uh, for breakfast, uh, we had this just wonderful, wonderful breakfast at this diner in Las Vegas. Uh, for lunch, I suppose you could say we had Burger King at the airport. And uh, for dinner, <laughs> we're not eating anything. <laughs> you know, it's 11.36 p.m. right now. And uh, there are things vitally wrong in my organization system. Um, Oh God, and I need to update my system. God, I have 134 <laughs> packages to update on my computer. My phone is out of storage. I have 256 gigabytes of storage on my phone. I've recorded lots of photos and lots of videos of the entire trip, and I'm out of storage. And I was thinking this entire time, oh, well, we have Apple One. We have two terabytes of iCloud storage. Uh, you know, when um, when I run out of storage, which I, I knew I would, um, I could just, um, move the photos and videos from my iPhone to the iCloud. Easy, right? Turns out, no. This is not what Apple wants you to do. They do, they do not want you to do this. Uh, turns out iCloud is um, not an archival service. It's a um, syncing service. Uh, the only reason iCloud exists is so then the, I, the photos on your um, iPhone can show up on your iPad, right? And on your Mac. Um, and uh, I was thinking, oh, well, you know, I could just move my photos and videos from, from my iPhone to the iCloud. You cannot do that, apparently. That's an impossible thing to do. Uh, sometimes, maybe, uh, if you're lucky, uh, Apple will maybe move some photos to the iCloud without telling you. Uh, and then, like, you'll go to the photo and it's, like, quality and then it fixes itself and then it's high quality because it downloads to your phone from the iCloud. Uh, but, you know, th that's not the point of iCloud. Um, apparently it's impossible to do that, right? Um, and so, uh, I, have, I have this detrimental problem, right? I, my, I'm out of storage on my phone. I still take lots of photos and videos rather regularly, and I need to be able to do that. So what do I do? Okay. Um, you know, and I ran out of storage as soon as we landed in, in Las Vegas, in Seattle. Um, you know, I was recording this at the airport. It was like a 20 minute long 4K, 60, 60 FPS video I was recording. And, um, you know, I said, oh, iPhone out of storage. I was like, oh, okay, I'll, I'll just move the stuff over now. Uh, you know, over data or something. I was at eighty percent battery. I could do it, um, and apparent apparently, apparently, you just can't do that. Um, so, so my plan right now is um, this is where it gets kind of technical. I have this um, Docker container on my NAS server um, of something called iCloud PD, and the thing that iCloud PD does is it downloads. Um, all of your photos and videos from iCloud to the NAS server uh, whenever you upload them. And it sorts them into year, month, and day folders, and it's very useful, and I do it. So then we have a local backup of all of my iCloud photos, right? Um, and, you know, I'm thinking I can get this thing called Photo Prism. And I've tried to do this before, but it didn't really work. Uh, but, wow. Um, one moment. Yeah, so I'm thinking we could get this thing called um, Photo Prism, this Docker container of Photo Prism running on my NAS server, um, and we can hook it up to iCloud PD on. Um, we could hook it up to iCloud PD. So then, um, and it, Photo Prism is like this image viewing thing locally hosted on your NAS server. So it's like a website you can go to that is hosted in your own home on your NAS server, uh, and then you could just access it. And it's like Google Photos or iCloud Photos, you know, hopefully. Um, so I'm thinking. I could hook up the iCloud PD downloaded photos and videos as a library, like a photo library, uh, to Photo Prism. So then I can view my iCloud photos on Photo Prism like they're on iCloud, right? And then, okay, um, the thing I can do is once I do that, I can delete the photos and videos off my phone, which will also delete them off iCloud. However, I will have a backup locally just on the NAS server, just their raw files, right? just there, right? Probably sorted into your month and day. Uh, and then, okay, I'll get a bunch of old archived photos and videos back when I used to just dump them on my computer and then delete them off my phone, which I, I realized was kind of bad, but you know, maybe I can do that. So then, okay, we'll have, we'll have three libraries. We'll have library number one, which is um, just directly from iCloud PD, just that stuff. Library number two, uh, which is the stuff from my phone that I'll delete off my phone and have on the NAS server. And then library number three, all of like the pre-2019, like very, very old photos and videos. And they'll all be on Photo Prism locally hosted on my network 
uh, if I port forward a uh, photo prism, like uh, the NAS server or something through my router, I could probably access it outside of my home. I could probably hook it up to an app um, on my phone and that'll be useful. So fingers crossed, everything works out. Uh, that's the plan right now. Uh, but you know, we'll see how that turns out. We'll see how that works. Uh, you know, I don't know, I don't know. Um, but you know, ideally, ideally that's how, it, how it'll work. Other than that, uh, the Las Vegas trip was very good. I got my, my Jordan 1 mids. Uh, so, you know, you know, that's pretty cool, you could say. Um, um, the funeral happened on Wednesday, and that, that was really beautiful. It was a really beautiful service. It was good. Um, you know, uh, we ate in and out a few times. That was very tasty. Um, we got to see family friends, and we proceeded to, um, you know, be at a restaurant for three hours and only for half an hour of those three. Um, and, you know, overall, the Las Vegas trip was very, very nice, and it was, um, you know, relative to maybe other people's uh, week at school, <laughs> very not stressful and very nice. Uh, you know, we swam a lot. Um, you know, for those of you who don't know, I just learned how to swim in August. Uh, so, you know, I was able to swim at the hotel for a very long time, and, you know, I burned a lot of calories, and so, you know, I, d I didn't gain too much weight, luckily. Um, and overall, it was just a very, very, very good time. Uh, yeah. You know, there, there's my there's my suitcase right there. I haven't even found, unpacked yet because it's so late, and I I want to upload this video before before the day passes. Um, but yeah, Las Vegas was very very fun, um, and I appreciate it with friends and uh, with, with family. You know, um, and hopefully hopefully I'll be able to figure out this this storage issue because you know I I have to be able to have photos and videos on my phone. Well, so. We'll see what happens. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, see you, dude.